Well, simplicity is about removing elements. It's, it's about uh, uh, only having the essential parts in a design. And, you know, when you're a, a company like Apple, uh, the pressure is to add new features. Right? It's to make the product richer in a way. So there's the, these two elements are, are, are in opposition to each other. That's why it's difficult to retain the simplicity in, in, a, in a product while making sure that it's always moving ahead. When it comes to making uh, something intuitive, uh, this is different because uh, uh, it, it's, it's a matter of putting something into a product that you can expect people to already understand. Uh, and, and that's always a moving target. That changes. Uh, you know, like one idea is if you were to take an iPhone and put it in the hands of Leonardo da Vinci, if you had a time machine and could make him show up, uh, he probably wouldn't know what to do with it, even though the guy was a genius. And so what's intuitive changes and evolves over time. So that's what's hard about it too. I think that both are really important. That uh, the best ideas, those genius level flashes of inspiration, I think happen in the mind of an individual. And that once you have that, that great idea, uh, then if that individual puts it into uh, some concrete form in, in the work at Apple, that always took the form of a demo or a prototype, something that you could show somebody, something concrete. Now, once you have that, then it becomes a matter of taking it out of the, the, the solitary environment and showing it to people, getting their feedback, getting their criticism. Because after all, at Apple, we were trying to make products for people that they could go out into a store and buy. And so getting that feedback from people and then returning to the solitary environment, back to the group uh, setting, uh, and going back and forth and iterating again and again and again, is I, I think both are important. That's the key to the way that we could work at Apple.